had a mindful mother. So I'm coming to you today with 10 tips, 10 tips to help you boost your immune system. The first is believe in yourself. Belief in your own power. Believe in yourself. So, we are incredibly powerful as people, you know, but if we don't believe that, then how is our body going to respond to that? It's not. So we need to believe in our own power. We need to believe we can get better from things. We need to believe we are strong. We need to believe that, you know, we can fight off um, things and bugs and all these germs around. We need to believe that we can do that. And we really, really can. We need to believe we can heal. So you need to just take a moment to, you know, just tune into that. You know, watch testimonials out there of people who have healed. You know, watch things, um, you know, of people who have fought things off, like um, that Wim Hof guy. He's incredible, you know, who can go into ice and for, for minutes and his body stayed the same and who was injected with E. coli and managed to just fight it off so it didn't affect him and he's taught others to do this. We are so powerful, we really can do this. We just have to believe in ourselves. So what I want you to do right now with me is say, I believe in myself. I believe in my own power, I believe I am strong. I have a really strong immune system. I am so strong. I am so strong. Say this every day guys, just believe in yourself. You really are so incredibly powerful. You have to tune into that power though and you have to believe in that power. Remember your body responds to your thoughts. So if you don't believe it, well it won't work. <laughs> you have to believe in yourself and believe in your own power. Number two, meditate. This is huge. It doesn't matter if it's just for five minutes, but you need to give yourself time each day to reconnect, to reconnect with your inner being, with your inner self, with your true nature, and with universal energy all around you and within you. And you need to give yourself time to come back to the present moment. So you need to let the past go. All the worries from the past, anything that's bothering you from the past, or why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do it a different way? Or anything, or anxiety about the future. You need to just let it go. There's worries coming in from all over the place. And they could affect the way you are if you let them. So don't let them. Don't let those worries. No amount of worry is gonna make things better. It's only gonna make things worse. So you need to bring yourself back to the present moment and meditation is an amazing way to do that. Just give yourself time to breathe. Just give yourself time to come back to the present moment. Right now, I'm just gonna do one minute with you of just focusing on the sound OM, just to allow yourself to come back. So, you know, just sit nicely, sit, however you feel comfortable but allow your back to be straight and your palms up and we're just gonna breathe in and now breathe out and now I'm gonna say the word om and you can say it with me on your as you breathe out so we're gonna breathe in om
in Now you might well be able to hear my children downstairs at the moment, but it doesn't matter because actually, oh, I don't, <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is because there could be things going on in your life at the point in which you want to do a short meditation and come back, obviously. So just breathe in and as you breathe out, do the OM sound. Focus on the sound, focus on the vibration, focus on how it makes you feel. When you do it, you can feel the vibrations within you and that's all you need. Just take some time to do meditation in the morning, in the evening, or even in your day, just for a few minutes to allow yourself to come back and let go of all those worries. It's incredibly powerful and you can literally change everything that's going on in your body in that very moment if you just allow yourself to. So meditation. Three, raise your vibration, increase your positive emotions. So let's just, anything, it could be laughing, no, make yourself laugh, just, just laugh. You know, I've done a video on this just before. It's incredible, laughter is such an incredibly powerful um, tool to just get our vibrations higher because what do we do when we feel great? We laugh and actually you can, you can actually make yourself laugh. You know with your children, with your family, with your friends, just laugh and have fun and make things fun. You know, dance, dancing is an incredible way again to raise your vibration because you're moving your body and you just feel amazing. It's just such a great way to do it. Sing, I've done a video on this one as well, just on singing because singing, when we do it again, we're signaling that we're happy to our body and we really do feel happier when we sing. You know, put some music on, music you love, that will help you raise your vibration. Again, obviously you can do the meditation, which I said before, and you can just do some mindful exercise. You can just go out and look at things in nature and just appreciate them and that will raise your vibration. Um, sometimes we just need something a little bit more lively to do that. Just get ourselves up, upbeat, happy, having fun. You know, play games, go outside, play it, um, play stuck in the mud with your children, play, your ball and just laugh and just be in the moment and raise your vibration. <laughs> you can still hear my children again. <laughs> okay, four, gratitude practice. This is absolutely huge and it will just change your life and when you're living your life in gratitude, of course your body's appreciating that and your immune system is going to be healthier because you're focusing on what really is um, very, very important. So gratitude practice. Every morning before you get out of bed, you know, think of three things that you are grateful for and every night before you go to bed, think of three things you are grateful for. You know, say them, feel them, really take time to feel them. You know, don't just say, um, I love this, until you really, I love this, and then think about why you love it. You know, really feel it. And write them down as well. That's really helpful. Say them out loud. Um, but just do your gratitude practice. It's really, really important. It's going to make a huge difference. Five. Eat nutritious, healthy, whole foods. We want our bodies to feel amazing. We want to feel amazing and we want to boost our immune system. And the way to do that is by making sure that what we put in our bodies is really good for us. So eat loads and loads of fruit and veg and whole foods, lots of fiber, and also drink lots and lots of water. Water is absolutely crucial. It's so important for us to drink enough. Um, so often, 
we don't so make sure you're upping your water intake right at the moment it will flush all those toxins out of your body and also obviously rehydrates our body and allows our body to work in the way it should also cut inflammatory foods so or at least reduce them so things like wheat uh, dairy you know, sugar you know we don't need those things and they're inflammatory to our body so also up the anti-inflammatory foods so things like turmeric you know, all those lovely spices ginger um, cinnamon you know up them up them up them just bring them into your system you know your omega-3s have your flax seed and all of that and it's going to really really help and then also make sure that you're you've got enough healthy bacteria in your gut by making sure you're having probiotics you can either take them in tablet form or you could just up it by eating things like sauerkraut and all of that um any um things like that and also the prebiotics which is food which they're food for the probiotic for your healthy bacteria this is food for them so prebiotics are things like bananas cacao onions garlic all that so that's really really important too so really important to eat well allow your body to have all the nutrients it needs to function in the best way and then you're going to massively massively boost your immune system number six hug hug your friends your family your children your spouse your partner your parents hug hugs are incredible your human touch, just human touch, is just amazing and it makes us feel amazing. It raises our vibration definitely, and it actually, when you're doing it, you're producing love hormones and all those healing hormones, oxytocin and all the rest, and it's just amazing. So, hug as much as possible. You know, take time, actually, take time to think, I'm gonna give you a hug. You wake up in the morning and give the people you love a hug. When you're gonna leave the house, give the people you love a hug. And when you're sitting down on the settee, you know, actually hug the people you're with. You know, put your arm around the people you're with. As you're walking down the street, hold hands. You know, human touch is major in, in the production of these healing hormones and for the boosting of your immune system. <laughs> Number seven, exercise. Exercise and move your body. It doesn't matter which exercise it is. It could be vigorous exercise. It could be going for a run around the block. It could be um, cycling. It could be um, anything um, like that. But it could simply be, and obviously yoga and all these things, but it could simply be just walking around the block, just getting your body moving, just breathing and allowing your body to move. So it doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life with health problems. Just moving your body is really important. It signals to your body that, you know, you love, I love you body, I love you and I want to do the right thing for me, for you and um, me because of course um, the body is part of you, of course. So, you know, move. Movement is so important and if you can move with intention, all the better. Moving with intention means moving and feeling and focusing on the love you have for your body and that you want to be the healthiest you can and you want to give your body every opportunity to be healthy and well and again boost your immune system so exercise and movements crucial number eight stay connected stay connected with your friends and your family you know we have support systems out there um we've got our close family with us but sometimes we have distant family and it's really important to give them your support and for them to know you're here and also for you to feel their support back. It's really important, you know, this is a time to be grateful for the internet, to be grateful for the fact that we can connect um, with them from a distance um, with the slight less movement and everything that's going on at the moment. So, you know, stay connected. It's really important to feel that we have our support systems in place. It really makes us feel much safer and much happier to know and you know no one should feel you know alone at this point um no one should feel you know that they're oh i can't really do much and i don't have my friends around me you know we can we can stay connected we can give each other our support and you know we can connect over the internet we can actually talk to each other it's 
almost as if we're there. Yes, the hugs aren't there in real life, but we've still got connection. And it's really, really important for everyone to feel that they're supported at this time. And again, with that support, you know, you feel more, pow more powerful, you feel more empowered because you know also that you have the support network out there and nobody feels alone. So stay connected, guys. Tip number nine is focus upon love. Love is such an incredibly powerful emotion. It's right up there on the vibrational scale. So of course, if we're feeling love, we're feeling really high vibrations and we're only gonna boost our immune system and boost the immune system of others. Because if our vibrations are right up there, they're gonna feel that and their vibrations are going to go up as well. And so if their vibrations are up, then their immune systems are better off too. So really, really, really focus upon love. I'll do that one with you now. So what I want you to do is just take your hands and put them over your heart. Okay, and we're just going to focus now. We're going to feel the love we have for our friends, for our family, for our children, for our parents. You can feel your heartbeat and as you feel your heart, just feel that love getting bigger and bigger. Feel that love. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes now and just feel that love. Feel the warmth of that love. Feel the power of that love. And now allow that love to connect with everybody else around you. Everybody else that's feeling this love right now. Just allow yourself to connect with their love. There's so much love out there, so much love. So much love. Focusing on this love is bringing your vibrations right up, right up. And it's allowing yourself and the people you love and everyone around you to heal as well. So focusing upon love, guys, really makes a huge difference, not only to you, but to everyone around you as well. Okay. Tip number 10, be mindful. So you've done your meditations and obviously within that meditation, you, you're bringing yourself back to the present moment as well. But just in your day, just be mindful of what you're doing. Be mindful of your thoughts. If you feel your thoughts going into a negative place, just bring yourself back to that present moment. You can do this at any point in your day. On, I have lots and lots of other mindful exercises as well on my channel, so do check them out. Um, they will help you bring, you know, bring yourself back to the present moment very, very quickly. Um, but I'll just do one with you um, now as well. So we're just going to bring ourselves back really quickly. We're going to say, you're going to just take your arm. This is one that's on there, so I'm just going to do an example of it. But this is on my channel as well, so like I said, do check out all my exercises. She's going to breathe in love. And you're going to breathe out any fear or worry. Now, when we're doing this, we're actually using touch, we're using our voice, um, which really heightens um, the power of what we're doing and brings us back to the present moment much more quickly. So there's five, do it five times, um, check out the actual exercise and you'll, you'll it's explained a little bit more on there, but just bring yourself back by just focusing on your breath, focusing on love coming into your body, and any fear or worry just leaving your body. And that will just bring you back to the present moment very, very quickly. Um, another one is you can just simply just go outside, just look at a flower. This is another exercise that's on there and just take time to focus. Um, just anything to bring yourself back to the present moment. Different things work for different people. Um, and I've, like I said, loads and loads of mindful exercises on the channel, so do check them out. But be mindful, guys. <laughs>